this video, we're going to do another example of center of mass. So this problem says to find the center of mass of a solid in the first octet bounded by the planes y equals 0, c equals 0, and by the surfaces z equals 4 minus x squared and x minus y squared. Its density function is, this is a symbol for density, kxy where k is a constant. And so right off the bat, what do we know? We know that z is equal to 4 minus x squared and it's equal to 0. Therefore, this right here is our z boundary. So 4 minus x squared and 0 dz. Now, we need to figure out whether to do dx dy or dy dx. And to do that, we need to graph everything we know. So we have a sketch right here x-axis, y-axis. Let's graph y equals 0. This is going to be y equals 0. Let's graph x equals y squared. So if you go look at my shapes of graphs video, you know that y equals x squared is a parabola like this. That means x equals y squared will be a parabola like this. Okay, so your parabola will look like this. However, we know that this shape is bounded by y equals 0. Therefore, we will only be working with the top half. Next thing we want to find out is to find out where does this parabola end in the x-axis. And in order to find out this, you need to set z equals 0. So 0 equals 4 minus x squared. Add x squared on both sides, you get x squared equals 4 square root this, you get x squared plus or minus 2 equals. Okay, so x squared x is equals to plus or minus 2. Excuse me. So, you now know that this shape is bounded here, which means the region will look like this. Okay, so with that being said, you can either have a slider going from left to right and slides up and down or a slider that goes up and down sliding left to right. So you could do either dy dx or dx dy. For this video, I'm going to do dx dy. Okay, now you need to find the boundary for dx, the upper boundary and the lower boundary. And in order to do that, you want to Find out which line determines which line determines where the x axis ends. And looking at this region, it would be this line right here, which is x equals 2. Therefore, the upper boundary is 2. Now, what's the lower boundary? So where does x stop in the lower boundary x stops right here so it's going to be this line right here which happens to be x equals y squared therefore your lower boundary will be y squared moving on to the dy boundaries to figure this out we want to look okay so if we have a dx slider and we slide up and down we're gonna end up the upper boundary is going to be determined by this line therefore x equals y squared we know that x is 2 equals y squared solve for y you get y equals square root of 2 so this would be the upper boundary now for the lower boundary you can only slide up to down and stop at this point so this is when y equals 0 so your lower boundary is going to be when y equals 0 so this will be your mass Okay, now you want to find the moments. So with this problem, you can have the moment of x, y, moment of x, z, and moment of y, z. For these moments, everything will remain the same in terms of boundaries. However, for the moment of x, y, you're going to add z into your 
here, your density. So KXY. DZ, DX, DY. For XZ, same thing for your boundaries, except you're going to add the missing variable, which is Y, to your density. Now multiply these two values together, you get the moment of XZ. This is the X, DY. Okay, last but not least, for the moment of YZ, same thing. These boundaries remain the same regardless. However, you guessed it. We are going to add the missing variable, so x, to this equation. So multiply x with kxy, you get dz, dx, dy. And these will be the moments.